Hello and welcome back. Now that we've deployed a function, let's get our local environment set up with Lambda and API Gateway. You will need Docker. Head over to Google and search Docker download for Mac or Windows. It'll work the same for either operating system. We need Docker because it downloads a image very similar to a Lambda function with the same restrictions and uh, execution times. There is an important step we need to take within Docker settings. Once you have Docker installed, head over to the settings and select file sharing, the plus symbol, find your project, and hit open. The, the, once you hit open, apply and restart. I'm going to get an error because I've already shared my directory with Docker. We can close out of these menus now and Google Chrome, go over to our terminal and you need to CD into our our project. Mine is in Documents and AWS Overflow. Inside of our directory, we need to initialize an npm project. Type npm init-y. It'll create a package.json file. You can check it out and you'll see uh, what it contains. The other thing we need to install is npm install request. The simulate plugin does require it, but it no longer is packaged with it. Every time you install a npm package or serverless plugin, you'll see the JSON file dynamically update. The next thing we need to do is search for our simulate plugin, and it's sls plugin search dash q. Q is for query, and type in simulate. You'll get a few results, and what I'm looking for is the plugin simulate. The command to install any plugin is going to be the same, no matter which one we want to install. And it's sls plugin and install dash n for name and the name of our plugin. I'm going to just resize my window so you can see it fine. And search for one more uh, plugin called requirements. Uh, you'll see two results show up, and we want the last one. SLS plugin install dash n for the name and copy and paste it. You'll see the JSON file update. One more file that does update is our YAML. It contains all the plugins that we just installed and the plugins that we do need. Uh, make sure you keep it in there because without them, the simulate and the lambda function will fail. Now that we have everything installed, let's see it in action. We'll open up two terminals, uh, arrange them so you can see what's going on. I'm going to make mine a little bit bigger for you guys. Clear my window. And the, the first command is lambda. So sls simulate lambda port 4000. The next one is for API gateway. sls simulate API gateway dash p5000 lambda port 4000. And you'll see them bind together. When I click this link, Chrome will launch and we'll get forbidden. Uh, don't worry about forbidden because we don't have a root path. So I'm going to copy one of my function paths, put it in Chrome, and it'll take a while in the beginning because, again, like I said earlier, we have to download the, the Docker image. Once it's done downloading, Chrome will re refresh and you'll see uh, our return function. And this was from the previous video where we're returning all the contents within the event in our handler. Here it is, handler JSON dumps event. If we simply put a simple hello and refresh, it'll be much quicker this time and you'll get a simple hello. There's one last thing I'm going to do and it's update my git ignore file with a handful of files I don't want to upload for you guys. Thank you for watching, and the next video is going to go into Python, Python requirements and how to get the Docker image to read them in.